Well, I just finished grinding an anvil on my 1935 Gallmeyer and Livingston number 35 surface grinder, which is an 8 by 20 inch surface grinder that runs on three phase power. I only have single phase power here, so I made my own. This is my converter box uh, for that, mostly capacitors there, a couple of relays, and just a switch and a few capacitors in there and uh, this uh, motor down in the corner, this, I don't know, five, six, seven horse motor, uh, is what actually does the rotary conversion. Anyway, there it is. Um, I've got a homemade coolant system, which is about a 15 gallon tote with a swamp cooler uh, pump in it that just comes up uh, right here and feeds into the uh, housing of the grain grinder. Anyway, and I just finished this uh, uh, hay button anvil and it weighs I think around 125, 132 pounds or something like that and that's how it came out. So uh, I took 53 thousandths off of it. Uh, I think it's going to make a pretty nice anvil. I take about two thousandths at a pass uh, with about a 50 thousandths feed. Um, I don't know what else there is to say about it. But all I do here is I do the faces and then the owner or somebody else uh, does the tuning up of the of the horn and the table and, and uh, whatever they want to do to the sides. Usually, but the edges of the anvil here, by the time the thing has got enough of a bow in it just from hitting it, even though it's hardened steel, that steel actually pushes out this way and that way. So there's some extra material here, a few thousandths, usually from about here to about there, that can actually be ground away to get rid of those some of these little nicks if you really want to. Uh, for a blacksmith, actually, we, we would, I would need to radius these even more with a radius maybe as big as, almost as big as a dime here, tapering up to about nothing from about here to the end. And then if you leave the tail end nice and square, this can be a cutting, almost like a, a cold cut hardy. And on this particular anvil, you know, it's almost perfectly square, these last few inches here. So this is really a very nice, it's a hay button anvil. So anyway, so I ground this anvil and it took me about an hour and a half uh, to grind it and it probably took me oh, almost 45 minutes to set it up to find uh, which, which uh, 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 yeah, shimming uh, would uh, give me the least possible uh, work to do. And uh, I have a, a large uh, uh, ground uh, tool steel plate that I lay on the anvil and then set a dial indicator on here and then shove the table back and forth and sideways uh, so that I can uh, shim the anvil to uh, what is level for the shape of the anvil as it comes in to me, minus any big humps and bumps that I might hit with a grinder. So that's how I do that. Watching the whole process is a lot like watching paint dry. So here are a few short scenes of the grinding in progress.
pretty clear that I'm branding an anvil here. And the reason that I stopped the machine just now is to show how this particular anvil is cleaning up. And if you can see right below my finger, uh, there's a was kind of a dip, dip in the middle of the anvil, and it's almost cleaned up. And I've probably taken the old forty thousandths or so off. I'm just going to continue until it's all cleaned up. But I just wanted you to see this uh, shot of where the anvil. 